Good eye! Good eye! There you go. Wake up, man! <laughs> so it's not what about. <laughs> Don't think, anyway. So good day. Oh, man, and it is a good day. Not a cloud in sight. And I am, well, it's about 8.30 of the morning. And I'm off to meet Barry at 9 o'clock. And I'm about an hour away. I am. Aha! Maybe that hour, look, mate, it's wicked. Come on, mate. Maybe that hour has just got reduced. Is he stopping? It's not stopping. <laughs> He's just carrying on. Now, <laughs> is he going to stop? No, that's what you call a malacca. Who is he going to stop down there? Is he taking his time? Does it take that long for that guy's brain to work a hundred meters or so? Well, I'll catch him up. <laughs> oh, we're off to a good start. We've got some entertainment from the very off. Oh man, so today's vlog, bit of a slog. Now the hotel, the condo, it's a little bit thingy, but it's got a lovely hot water shower and really comfy bed. I needed that good sleep last night. TV doesn't work and no internet. So that is a major issue because I like a TV and being a YouTuber, the internet is pretty crucial. Ah, so I am actually, the vlog I should have had up last night is still loading up 4%. So let's see if this guy is going. Sweaty Keb. Do you want breakfast? <laughs> no, mark that, right. Well, wanker. <laughs> That's typical diet. They'll beg you and beg you and beg you. As soon as they eat a bit of food, they have nothing to do with you. Nothing. A funny nation of people, man. <laughs> oh, mate. Ah, oh, so maybe. Well, I'm not far off from Beach Road, if you call it Beach Road, to the desert. It is the desert that is right there. So I've got a bit of a long day. I'm now off to meet Barry. I need to get a motorcycle for today and tomorrow. And I need to get off to Baraka to start my vlog, what I came here for. So I've got my laundry. If you're wondering why I'm wearing a dirty shirt, it was just like, I thought, oh, you know, I'll get all full of sweat before I go and see my laundry lady. Hopefully laundry lady will be open and I'm gonna collect it later today because I need, I need my post shirt for this evening's celebrations at the Baraka Bikers Festival. Shall I'm open, it's gonna be really good. Now this road is where I come up. It's massive, great seafood restaurant. Pwah, drain stun off smell though. <laughs> wow. So that is me, I'm gonna meet Barry, have a cup at 7-Eleven, and then um, just make my day out from there, wander back down Beach Road, get a scooter sorted, and I'll be off, out of the boat, getting all fixed up and doing what I need to do. I do need to go somewhere where I'm gonna go and eat for breakfast. I need to get back to the flat, get the laptop, and hopefully get in somewhere with some good internet. Ah. I have emailed the Condo people, oh, they won't ever give you any money back. They won't ever. What they suggested is they put 50 baht a day on my mobile phone. I said, well, that's lovely, that is. But I need my laptop, not a ready mobile phone. And that is the end of the road right there. There's dredgers out here where they're still dredging this sea because they need the sand to put on the beach. They do, if you ever wondered. Where these dredgers have all been here, They've all been down here. They've all been dredging to rebuild this sea bank up. That building may finally, finally get open. Don't know. But as you can see, it's a nice hey, Look out of the way of all the runners every day. <laughs> I could get out of that way. 
That's fucking sad, mate, that. <laughs> oh, runners. Mate, they are funny people. They, they, they do. Look, they're everywhere, man. They're all right running, out running, early of the morning. Or I would have thought they'd have been shagging. <laughs> Who ain't getting laid? Those people out are running. Run, run, run. Right. Uh, I'm going to hang about. I've got to hang about for a song time. The reason I've not got to carry on, because the sun's there. See, here you go. Look, so I'll start blogging, vlogging from here. I don't know, it may be all right. Didn't think it'd be a good picture, good burnout. So I'm hoping one of them song tails will come along and give me a ride all the way up to the end of the road. And I've still got a 10 minute walk. Ah, oh, to go and meet Barry at 7 Eleven. Time is against me today. It really is. Camera. When my camera is on now, guys, what I've sussed out. I've made it to 7-Eleven and I've met Barry. He was sitting there Hello. sweating. Hello. <laughs> Good day. Oh yeah, he was sitting there sweating. I keep, and he kept looking at his watch. He was like this as I was walking up. So we have reduced <laughs> ourselves sitting here. But let me explain. Now I'm using the DJI Mic 2 kit and I've got it on the setting so it takes out all the background noise. So I no longer have to live in fear of copyrighted music. What? A what a, what a breakthrough. There you go. What a breakthrough in the music copyrighted YouTube yeah. thing. Yeah. There you go. You can have any, any music you like playing in the background. Well, I'm not sure about that. One I reckon about if, that. if it was really heavy, it, <laughs> right. might, it might make your voice sound a little bit funny. Oh, yeah, I don't know. It, I've actually not. I've, I've, I've got it on the setting by accident because I didn't know what I was doing at first. But where I've been playing playback, and I keep saying, oh, I'll copyright and whatever. Well, when I watch it, it's not coming through. So I'll keep it on this setting. Yeah. And uh, so that's good yeah, news. You can adjust it how much, how much of it goes, does it, the background? Yeah. Or, but or is it just on and off? I think it's on off, mate. Oh, is it? Yeah. Because on my editing, I can adjust it. So I can, just okay. adjust the, I can reduce the level of it. Oh. You know? And that doesn't make your voice sound. If you, go, if you go to number 10, say, for example, right. You know, it makes your voice go uh, 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 a little bit like that. Okay. Well, that's good news. We ain't, yeah. <laughs> we ain't got any of that. It's a definite advance, isn't it? <laughs> yes. So I just thought I'd bring that to your attention as I have now got to go and rent a scooter because the day is getting away and I've got a lot to do. But there's also, there's something else I've got to do. You're going to go to the bike week. Bike week. No, Barappa. I'm sorry. Barappa. Yeah, I've got, I've got, I've got to keep calling you it. You are going to have so much fun there, I'm telling you. <laughs> Watch this. It is you, uh, a unique event. A unique uh, yes. event. Yes. So I'll be going there later. Alrighty, so that's my new background noise eliminator explained. Gone. We hope. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Tough day in the office today, it really is. I've now walked all the way back from 7 Eleven, Pratanam, to Nah, John Chiant Beach, to my hotel. I have now walked back because I wanted to rent a scooter for today and tomorrow. But I could not rent one. They all want too much money. For a 400 bike is now six and 700. A 200 bike is now 400. I'm not enjoying the Thailand getting it, making up for the Rona. We've all got to make up for the Rona. It's outrageous that it all gets put on the visitors to a country. Oh, it has annoyed me. 30% uh, increase in prices on Ko Chang. First time I've ever experienced anything like that. Uh, when I've been in Thailand, I've obviously experienced the low season and the high season, and the price is changing slightly. But, oh man, with regards to Patia and Phuket, the prices in Koh Chang, they've, uh, oh mate, the prices just keep going up, 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 and up. And, oh man, it's not worth it, is it? <laughs> I love value for money. I'm out. Yeah, I have walked up the right street. So I'm now going to get back to my condo. I have worked out the, the I don't really need to get on the internet, not that desperately, no. I, I've got four vlogs that are loaded up. So it's literally uh, sorting them out. The one I wanted to get up is about weed, so it doesn't matter if I miss that out for a few days. It's not time sensitive. So I, I think I'm just going to chill. As far as Baraka, <laughs> Uh, if I can rent a bike back at the apartment, just I might just get it for one day. 
and just go there. But when I'm looking at 400 baht, I, I can get the bulk taxis to go to where I want for like 100 baht a throw. So if I use the bulk taxis, I can then get to where I want to go. I ain't got to worry about fuel, getting the bike back and all those things. So they're, 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 they're pricing themselves out of the market. Especially if you're in John Chien, because you don't really need a bike. Pat, you just get on the 10 baht taxis up and down the street all the time. Oh man, I wonder who's dumped this rubbish out. I wonder what this guy does for a living. Mate, that is outrageous. The Dorian man and the Melon man. I wonder what they do for a living. All those carts, I never buy off them, because all they do is bring all their gear and just dump all their rubbish when it's sell by date, isn't it? All their peelings and that. <laughs> no, they don't get rid of it organically. No, they come and dump it on some field. It's probably going to be up for sale. Well, there is a lot of waste. I'm seeing more and more waste. Even then, like I say, this whole strip up here, to all these condos, all this land, look at it. It's just riddled with all street sellers' waste. That's what it is, man. It's <laughs> It's embedded in the landscape, street. Now that is how Dorian breaks down, which is organic, which is okay. But get all the plastic out of it. Oh man, it's mad when organic waste becomes a pain. That is a pain. Woof. So that's me, I'm pretty exhausted. But you know what, I've had a good sweat. I've had a good catch up with Barry. And now I might just go and chill around the pool, but there is also one other thing moving into the equation. Oh, hey, rain clouds, formulating, oscillating all around. They may be. I don't think it's going to rain, but never really know. Right, that is my massive resort right there. You see how big it is? Well, I'm right down that end one down there on the left. That's where I am. So right now, I could do with a taxi to get me to my apartment. I, am, I might just rent a bike for a day. I may not today. I may not do anything today now. I'm still not eating, so I need to get out and eat something. But I haven't got a shirt because I, I dumped all my laundry. So I need to get back at John GM for five o'clock to get some laundry. Pick my laundry up, probably eat, get a couple of pies. Ah, oh, man. So... Just another day in the life of a YouTuber vlogger. Oh, excuse me. See you later. Ah. Oof. Sand. I was thinking, where's my sand? It's not on my nipple. No, it isn't. It? It's starting to hurt a bit. Sticking it on there. I'm like, oh, hang on. I can do that like that. This one nips a bit tighter than the other one. So I nip, nip my nipple tight. Too tight. So now it's on there. I was wondering what I'd done with it. Cool. Alrighty. Oh well, good morning now. Day two, or day three, of the Sturgis Festival. And I come to Padia to go there and make a vlog over three days. Today is the last day. So I must make it there today. I've got to. I will. I will, I will, I will. That is why I am. I'm all kitted up, got my drone. I've got everything with me, all my gear. And I failed to rent a, a scooter yesterday, but I actually absolutely exhausted myself with all the walking I've done. So I'm taking it a bit gingerly this morning, walking nice and slow, as I literally today have to rent a scooter for one day to get everything I need to get done. Oh man, and get to Baraba now today, being the last day. I know there's a music taking place from about 6.30, but I do believe there's a ride out. So I've got my drone and that. I want to get amongst it or at least film it from a drone. So I've got all my kit with me to get to Barapa, hopefully, <laughs> pretty soon. I want to go shopping there. I bet there's some really cool stuff to film. So I want to try and get there. Um, I'm gonna have a good day there, Dad. I'm gonna be out and about all day. I am, got sunburnt yesterday. So I've really, really, really wanna try and finish this 
vlog about me running on. Now, bhotel.com, I'm looking, a new way of traveling. I'm looking to see if they rent scooters here. Don't know. I can't see anything for rent. Oh, man. So I've got to walk all the way down the main street and wait for a song tell, which may or may not be coming along shortly. I got absolutely hammered again last night. I really did. And uh, the hotel hasn't. Oh, mate, I've got no internet. So that's annoying. The whole reason of me booking it for three days was to catch up on all my internet. So I didn't even post a vlog last night. It's becoming an absolute pain now. I'll try to see where these song tales are going. I'm going to get on one. If they go down that road and turn left, I think that's what they do. They come up here and then go around there and do their loop again. I think. I'm not 100% sure. There's another one coming. <laughs> but like I say, they've all got their own agenda, I think. I don't, I don't know if some... Is this guy coming this way? No. See, he's gone straight up. <laughs> ah, I haven't got a clue of what to do. Oh, if only I had a bike. So yeah, three days of no internet, just sitting there, laying on a comfy bed, that's the only thing. So I've got no movies to watch of an evening, just sit there listening to music. I've made my vlog, so now I've just got loads to load up. All the thumbnails I've been making, so I've been doing that. Uh, but I have found a hotel on John Chiam Beach, which could actually be a quite a good location. It's got a strong Wi-Fi signal, so I'm thinking of staying here for three more days in Patia. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to test the noise background thing on this mic, and I'm going to go and do some red light vlogs to catch up <laughs> on my stats. Yes, yes, right now I'm going to walk this way. I'm going to walk down the beach. I just really don't want to get all sweaty like yesterday and exhausted. And that. But yeah, yeah, I think I'll go and do a Sawyer 6, a Sawyer 6 stroke 1. I might even do Walking Street. I might go and do all them vlogs because I know they get loads of hits. You guys love all that stuff. I don't. I don't, I don't like it at all. <laughs> no, I don't. Possibilities of having to chin someone and all those things. So, you know, it could be good for the show. <laughs> it could. <laughs> it's good for the stats, isn't it? Might get beat up, might get mugged, might get raped. Anything could happen, so. Accosted by ladyboys, it over the head by stilettos, bottle, glass, it's, it's all there, man. All could happen. And, that. and so when I do them vlogs, I'll keep it on the right edge. <laughs> of something like, oh, is, is it, is it, is it? Oh, I don't know. One thing's for sure. I don't half run on. Good start. I managed to get picked up. <laughs> what a song tell. Jeepney, taxi thing, whatever. It's just as well, because I've already started to get wet. Another hot day. <laughs> Last night when I was walking to the apartment, I was looking at cloud. I think that was wishful thinking, you know. It's going to rain and like, oh, that's it. It'll make, make a decision earlier. <laughs> no, 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 it did not rain. Of course it didn't. It did not. It got really hot and sweaty, like it is right now. Ah. So we've got lots of bikes, I'm noticing on the beach. Today's Saturday, and with regards to, I mean, putting Baraka to one side, on a Saturday and a Sunday on John Chien Beach, you get all kinds of bike groups come down here. There's got loads of them on the back of these little twin cabs. I don't know if they're bringing the bikes down here for the ride out. I, I don't know what time the ride out is. Somewhere I thought I read, read the Barapa ride out was at 2.30. Uh, there are, there's loads of bike groups all getting ready. Maybe that's what it is. Look at that, man. There's some cool machines up on the beach road already and they're all coming the back of these trucks. Look, there's another one, man. Wow, they're like drag racers. And another of these. Mate, they're all getting ready for the bike ride. Must be, that must be what all these twin cabs and everybody 
coming down early on the beach. So there you go, I may have to stick around the beach. Oh, this is such a tough life. I want to get to Parappa. <laughs> That's, oh man. That's there, man, look at these guys. With their bikes, their helmets, everything. Oh, this is good. It's more, more on, the, on there. And look at them, man. Look what they do to these very small bikes. All the cars are out, the Jeeps. Everywhere, there's so many. And I can only assume there'll be more and more and more as I go up. Oh, that's really cool. Guys, I've got my camera, got my drone, I brought all my kit with me. And I'm kind of expecting to be out and about all day today. Ah, oh, man. So maybe the bike ride is early, I don't know. I want to get a bike and get, get, ah, man, get among it all. One thing's for sure, it's going to be a good day. Whoa. Me making stuff up again. Look at this little beauty. I'm sure I've shown you that before. That is a nice 150 Vespa. No, it is. Oh, it's a proper one as well with the small wheels. Ah, oh, that's a proper, proper old 150 Vespa, that is. So I just asked, I saw the police car, saw two policemen. So I just asked them about all the motorbikes, all these young guys with all the youth, the scooters. And no, it's not to do with Barapa. No, that is something totally different taking place today and tomorrow. I can't remember what he said, but that event actually has a name. So I reckon I'll go and have a little bit of coverage of that tomorrow. Maybe, maybe later today, I really don't know. So I'm now wandering <laughs> these streets to look. See if I can rent a scooter. That's it. That's what I rent a scooter. And I'll bring it back in the morning after I've checked in my new hotel, which I haven't booked yet. And I thought I'd probably check it out today before I actually book it. And then I'm going to make a vlog. It gives me the opportunity because I've been so disappointed with the condo. It's the first time I rented a condo. And it's got loads of issues and so i'm going to make a vlog about a condo versus a guest house um not having internet for three days is outrageous for me it's just like <laughs> it's like not having food and water for you guys it's like going a day without having a leo it's like mad right let's rent a bike happy back in the game i am I am, I have come to the rent right here on the corner. And these bikes are booked out, but that one is not. I oh, know, the only bike they had for a rent was an Aerox. And not only that, the price, the three day price for the Aerox is 980 baht. But I want it for four days. So she let me have it for 1,000. 180. There is a 2,000 baht deposit, but for me, that's money in the bank. So that's good. And as you can see, the bike is in fairly good nick. Lady in there was really helpful. And why I love the Aerox is this. Look, that is the drone. That fits in there like it was actually meant to be. And that's my camera bag, which just about fit in there like it was meant to be. <laughs> oh, it's good. I've got to put this camera in there, yeah, but that's me happy. Oh, I've got my bike for four days. That means I can move to my hotel without getting a taxi in the morning. That means I can go and check out the hotel and go and book that for a further three days right now. I can go and have a look. Oh, mate, I'm, like, I'm back in the game. Wait, the world is once again my oyster. <laughs> I made it, but it looks like I missed it. <laughs> it looks like I got here a bit late. <laughs> Wicked, does look like proper festival. Wow, oh, wicked. Look, 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 look. Here is what you guys 
are going to be seeing when I now switch a bit of clothing, I now make another vlog in, that is the star oh man, that is the spirit head stage, the spirit hero stage. But this is what you're going to see around 20 cap. Good eye, good eye, look at this place. <laughs> it looks awesome, it does. It's the last day I'm going to be making a wicked vlog here at Sturgis today. So, you want to need, you want to, you, you do need to see that vlog, yeah. It will be on the main vlog in the Dead Horse channel. As I switch my clobber, I now get back into wardrobe and come out with my festive gear on. <laughs> oh, I'll see you a little bit later for a happy ending. Mission almost accomplished. Accomplished. It is raining. It is. Look. Road's getting wet. Barry, I sure has down there, mate. <laughs> Barry's not at home. He's, he's away for the night, gigging out on tour. I knew it was going to rain. I can, I've got it in my, in, in my blood. It's in Norfolk. And you can smell it. You really can. So I <laughs> left Barapa about half an hour ago. I did. I thought it was going to rain. I need refreshments and I need breakfast. So I am at the Samarond bar and restaurant right opposite where Baz live, down there. <laughs> and I do like the bangers and mash served with peas, onion gravy. But I did come here to sink a few beers. I did. So, and it just started to rain. So I thought, Ah, I told you so. Mmm, <laughs> mmm. So what? Pinning down the rain. <laughs> I don't mind. I've got food. I've got beer. And I've even got internet. Mm. <laughs> I'm all right, Jack. So did everyone else getting soaked at the festival. I've been. <laughs> After the rain, I'll probably go back. <laughs> I will. I'm just happy that I, I'm sitting in somewhere, hot food, good cold beer, out of the rain. Happy. It won't last for long. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. So, I ate my bangers and mash. I did. I had two my beers and I sat there and I watched the heavens open. I did. And the roads get flooded. Did. And then it stopped. So I thought it'd be a good idea to ride the horse home. Coming into John TM, different thing, mate. Everywhere was flooded and the heavens opened and I got soaked. Absolutely soaking wet. Can still hear the thunder and lightning. <laughs> and uh, as the water starts, so oh man, to recede. But the roads were like that earlier. That blue strip in the middle, the roads were like that. It was annoying. So my flip-flops are soaked. I'm soaked. Everything is soaked. And I've kind of got to like, I think, I think that's the time I ended this vlog. <laughs> Could go on forever. It's like a uh, nightmare. Ah, oh, man. So I come back to the apartment and thought I'd chill out and watch a movie, but I also forgot that I haven't got strong enough internet to even watch a movie. No, I have not, but what I have got is I've still got dark bear lao. So I'm thinking, well, you know, different kind of day. It's ice cold, and this is for you, Mr. Retired Painter. Yes, especially, so I can let you know Oh, it's dark. 
Oh man, it looks like Pepsi. What does Beer Lau Dark Lager taste like? That's weird. That is, it's like, it's like lager with like light flavorings of licorice. <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't know, it's like beer and lager. That's like Ruddles County and Stella mixed together. It's like a cocktail of stout. And actually, hang on, we'll get there in a minute. It's, it's, it's Guinness, hang on. It's like a weird Guinness. It is. It is. Hang on. Yeah, we're rumbling. It's still rumbling. I've got to go back. There's me internet. Look, I can't even get Facebook on. I, I put the Facebook page on just before I started the vlog. That is how bad internet is. It's outrageously bad. No, but they did offer me 50 baht a day. <laughs> so, yes, I will enjoy making... I make the condo versus guest house vlog. But the guest house I had in mind was really strong internet. Well, now, now that I want it, <laughs> not there anymore. It's, it, it is not. So I'm pouring this out to have a look at it. Let's go out in the light. It's like pale ale, is it? Is it an ale? Dark. There certainly isn't anything I'm going to buy again. But I did buy one. I was going to do a beer lau taste off with all the different beer laus. <sighs> but I kept drinking them, so I never got around to it, did I? No. Oh, man. Thundering, that's all I can hear. It is. Uh -huh. So anyway, that's the end of this vlog. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to call it. Um, just me, just... Uh, I'm not making any vlogs. <laughs> but I finally got to the Barapa event. It was all right. It was all right. It was all right. Everything starts late. So I suppose hopefully if it dry out, I'll go back there later on. I'll probably miss the ride out. Yeah, you know, it's what it is. I don't mind. Rain and the, fl the flood and that done me because if the Thai people didn't throw all that plastic bags and all that litter in the streets, then the drains wouldn't get blocked and then you won't have to drive in two foot and three foot of water. Like what I've just done in some gullies. Cause you're, oh mate, and some of the, some of the drains on the main road are proper flooded. And the only reason is, is cause Thai people are terrible with their litter. But it is a sad case. It's not until it rains and you're on the roads that you realize how bad their little, little louts are. They are. That is, they're still one of the worst things of Thailand, as well uh, as, as well as them getting all their industry and having all the latest gadgets and toys and having income. They still don't know how to put a bit of rubbish in the bin. They don't. That is a sad thing, man. Very, 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 very sad. So on that note, I will leave you in pleasure or pain, whatever you're doing today. Oh, mate, I've got to drink the rest of that crap beer now. And I'm like, it needed to be a lot colder. But what a, what a weird thing. What have I done with it? Oh, actually, hang on. Let's settle down a bit. Let's get the rest of that in there. That is a weird beer. So it's not Guinness, is it? Look at that. It's like a, it's like a Maccasins. That's like, it's not even pale, mate. It's like a dark ale. Like Ruddles County. I don't know why anybody would enjoy drinking that. I'm not. Matter of fact, I don't think I'll drink any more of that. So, guys, I hope you like this vlog. And until next time, au revoir.